guys thanks for stopping by my channel in today's video I'm gonna be making some candy jars they were inspired by some apothecary jars that I'd seen on Pinterest and um, I bought most of my supplies from the Dollar Tree except for my paint and the jars those came from Walmart and so I have like 52 53 subscribers which puts me halfway to my hundred mark and I'm hoping that I reach that very soon so be sure that if you're watching and you haven't subscribed that you do subscribe and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below let's just jump right into the video Just taking the lid apart and putting some hot glue around the inside rim so that the center piece will stay intact when I take the lid on and off whenever the bunny is attached to the top. So here I had originally took wire cutters and tried to cut that little metal piece off but it left little sharp pieces and I couldn't get them off so one of my bunnies has a sharp piece in it so then I decided to just pull them out and that worked just fine. wanted to throw these in here too. Salt and pepper shakers from the, oops, <laughs> I 
from the Dollar Tree. I don't need that anyhow. We're not using that part anyway. So, I'm just going to take these two and wipe them down in alcohol. And then let them dry a little bit. And then I'm just going to continue on with that chalk paint that I've been having so much fun with. I'm going to paint them both light. I'm really liking white for some reason. And I usually like a lot of color, but here lately I have really been liking this white look. So I'm just going to hit the sides too because I don't know where I'm going to sit them. And I don't want that part to show. So just take my white paint, try to get it on there a good coat, get an even coat, and get around the tops. So, just get the whole thing. And I know I said at the beginning of the video that I was just doing the jars, like the candy jars. But then, like, just, like, the crafting spirit got a hold of me. And I was like, you know what? I've seen these on Facebook and everywhere. So, I'm going to make some, too. So, we'll let that one dry. And then I'll do this one. Okay, so now that I've got both of those painted I'm waiting for them to dry and now I just have like a whole table full of glass with chalk paint on it waiting for it to dry and that's all over my hands and so this this is kind of the boring part of crafting is waiting for the paint to dry oh while my paint is drying I thought maybe I'd talk to you a little bit yeah. I wanted to start my channel because I started watching everybody on YouTube making things. And I was like, I do this all the time. All the time. And I just never thought about recording it. And I, I didn't think anybody would want to watch it. So I just didn't do it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make me a YouTube channel too. So... Then I, I made one, and I realized, like, my first video was, like, kind of dry. was kind of, like, stove up, as we say here in the country. And so the, I was like, no, that's not really me. And then my, my other ones, I was, like, trying a little bit. And now it's just, like, uh, I've, I've watched so many things talking about keeping people interested in your videos so they don't click off of it and blah, blah, blah. And it's, like... I can't do any tricks. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. But the boring part of crafting is wait for the paint to dry or wait for something else to dry or and and that, that's just not really included in a lot of craft videos. It's just cut straight to it and it's like, "Oh, it's dry. Now, let's move on." And instead, you're just sitting here like, "Hope the sun don't wake up." Probably eat a piece of cake. I'm a little bored now. Snowing outside. I guess we'll play in the snow. Is it dry yet? And then you touch it and it's tacky and then you kind of mess it up and you're like, oh god. It happens to me all the time. I don't know if anybody else does that, but anyway, let's get back to it. Third coat. Third coat. My god. coats on my finger should look very nice <laughs> and 
And I ended up putting um, two coats on that, three coats on those, two coats on those, and one coat on those because those were already chalk. So they just absorbed that right up. And now we're just sitting here again, waiting for it to dry. So after everything is dried, which those aren't fully dried, <laughs> I'm going to uh, go ahead and put these on here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go by the circle here pretty much. That way I know where I want it to sit. And I'm going to use some E6000 and hot glue just to hold it in place for now. But the E6000 will hold it permanently. and put them on there. And that way I pretty much know where my lid shuts out. And then I'm just going to take the bunny and I put some E6000 on the bottom of it too just because it's more of a permanent hold. And adds a little bit of hot glue. So it makes it go down good for the moment. And then find where I want my bunny to sit on top. And I'm just going to stick it on there. And press down. I'm going to do the same thing for the other jar. Then I'm going to let those dry, and what I suggest is really letting them dry overnight, but I'm going to actually go ahead and fix them up here in a minute, just so you can see the end result. But these have pretty much dried. They're still just a little bit tacky, but they're mainly dry. So, I'm, so I bought a thing of lilacs from the Dollar Tree. And I already measured one just to see kind of like how tall it was going to be. So then I'll just use this one as my guide for my other ones. today's video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some inspiration to make you something new something pretty for your house uh, be sure that you stop by again I am going to soon come up with a schedule of when I'll be uploading and it will be like one day a week will be my DIYs and then another day a week will be my vlogs so be sure that you keep up with that and let me know in the comments below if you prefer DIYs or if you prefer the vlogs or if you like them both. I would like to hear from you. And like and subscribe. And I hope to grow my channel. I want it to get as big as it can get. And I hope that I just give you inspiration and that you keep on crafting. Have a blessed day.